So again, this idea of FOMO is no longer affecting us. Losses are the only thing that are going to make you money long term. Remember that. And the reason the model works so well is because it's based it's based on the on the misunderstanding that most other people have. And like the previous video and the video before that, if you study and understand what other people do, you understand how easy it is to make money on the correct side. This is what real trading looks like. Real trading is not trends that develop like this, break down nicely, chalky flippy, get an easy trade here, break up again, chalky flippy, easy trades like this. This is not what markets move like, nor have they ever moved like that. Quick disclaimer, uh, these videos are meant for educational purposes only. Anything said or shown in any of these videos are personal opinion and my perspective. Trading carries a high level of risk, so anything done is your responsibility. <laughs> Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to MentFX. So in the last video, I gave you a very simple synopsis of a system that you should follow. So in today, this is the overall model we're gonna be covering and we're gonna be doing a fully random um, live back test for you guys um, and walking you through the thought process that I would normally utilize to get positioned using this exact same thought process. So all we're going to be doing is we're gonna go to a random pair, random time, all this fun stuff. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find a SSC or wait for an SSC that's delivering that comes into an area and begins to move away with the anticipation like we spoke about last time with price that wants to clear the next liquidity point meaning that we're anticipating this price action and very simply this right here on a lower time frame should be seen as bullishness that we're going to wait to shift bearish and then we're going to look to basically follow the lower time frame bullishness to the top side to keep going or we're going to wait for a reshift and follow the new ssc to the top side to start clearing these highs this is the entire model i've discussed with you guys in the last video so if you haven't seen that yet it's kind of like a two-parter make sure you go see it because it's going to teach you a lot and today we're going to be executing this exact system and showcasing win or loss i don't care because i want to showcase um, practicality and the usage of this concept to you right now. All right, let's do it. So what we're going to do, what we're going to start by is we're going to open up our Google. We're going to go to my FX book outlook. So we have a bunch of pairs here and we're going to get a number, random number between one and 20. Um, and then we're going to go here and then we're going to go and press go once. Oh, we're going to press start. Oh, we have to press start. So we're going to click roll. Okay. So we get eight. So we're going to go um one two, one two three four five six seven eight so odd cad is one we're going to be testing very quickly we're going to hide everything from the chart odd cad just like that we're going to delete everything there we go and now we're going to go to a we'll go to a daily chart to start or we'll start with a three-day chart um oh well actually because we want to be operating on let's assume that five minute is going to be our lowest time frame so we're not going to be going below five minutes because again it doesn't matter what time frame you want to use but we're just going to assume five minute today um so odd cat and now we're going to decide how many times we're going to scroll so we're going to press a go so we 19 we're going to scroll one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen Okay, and then we're gonna get our another round number and we're gonna click on section two of the screen. So if you can imagine this as like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 12, 12. so two's around here. So we'll go around there. Great. So now we have a full, where's the price at? There it is. So now we, we've gone back in time. Um, we're, we're, we're on replay mode here. We have no idea where we are in this market. We've turned on the MentFX structure indicator. You can see we're on odd count on the five minute. The MentFX structure indicator is found for free on the trading view app. I've coded this just for the for my personal team, but for you guys as well. So it's fully free. You don't have to pay me for it. Um, utilize it. It's how I see ranges. It's a good way to help you see that. And all we're going to do now is we're going to step up to the daily time frame. And we're going to ask ourselves where we are in the market and if we're delivering in a way that's worthwhile, worthy to confirm. So we're going to use everything I've taught on this channel and I'm going to walk you through it. So first things first is we're just going to look at where the price action is, right? We had um, a break to the top side, a break to the top side. So all I'm doing is I'm just following the indicator right now. A break to the top side, a break to the top side. We broke down bearish and you can see that resulted in a bullish push. Exactly what I teach you guys to anticipate. This is what we're looking for to trade this market, okay? Broke bullish, broke bullish, and is now breaking down again. Has broken down, has broken down. So right now, it hasn't hit um, an SSC, nor is it delivering, right? So we don't know if this market wants to go up or down. It's kind of all over the place, right? If anything, it actually wants to head for this high because the market's already proving to be bullish, right? Overall, is proving to be bullish and is breaking down for likely what we would call a accumulation to the top side. So this is likely going to re-break this high, um, 
next, but right now we can't trade that because we don't have a currently delivering SSE. So we'll step down to an eight hour and see if we can find something there. The eight hour has the same thing. So we'll step down to a six hour, take a look. Same thing, four hour, we'll take another look. So in the four hour, you can see we're doing the same thing. We're also breaking bearish. Um, yeah, and we haven't come up to the zone. So we're just in the middle of nowhere. And this is a phenomenal example of where you should just not touch anything because if you start touching stuff right now you're going to be taking losses for no reason i'm seeing bullishness that wants to likely take out this higher time frame right here but i have nothing that's correspondingly showing me an ssc like we speak about that's already delivering like this if there was we could look to trade it so now let's take a look at maybe an hourly maybe there's something there okay so the hourly actually is okay the hourly is the first one that's doing something of that nature so the hourly you can see here was bearish 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 it broke bullish broke bullish again, and has now come down to the deepest point of that of that bullish push, um, which would be this SND right here, the last unmitigated portion, right? So this is that last unmitigated portion right here, very simply, right? And since we have not broken that yet, we assume that all of this right here is acting as absorption of that low. So now if we have lower time frame models that, we, that I've been showing you that I'm looking for, we can of course trade those models to the top side because we have at this point, a small invalidation point and a large free money zone to the top side, which means that we have easy opportunity, likely if we get a trade, to trade it to the top side, okay? Now, similarly, I'm also going to throw on a MentFX Triple M, which is also something that I teach in the private mentorship, but I've made this indicator available for free for you guys on the just publicly so you guys can also get this indicator on there it's very simple again you, if you just trade it alone you're going to be losing a lot of money but if you trade it within context you can do very well for yourself and pass easy fund challenges or whatever it is so now we're going to jump down to the 15 minute and just take a look at where we are so we know that we finally found an area that we that makes sense to go bullish from but what you can see is that the 15 minute here remains extremely bearish you can see it's continuously breaking bearish and currently it's in a bearish range from this high to this low so it's still bearish so if anything this price just wants to fall down so what we're waiting for here is some kind of break to the top side or maybe a five minute has presented a break that we can now follow so all these things should be going off in your head as you're doing this right so we're going to go to a five minute here and take a look at what's occurring um, but something that is important to notice is as i teach on this channel there are what we call snd 2.0s these are um, demand zones formed off of previous demand that we can also utilize without structure. So right now that's occurring actually right here. So we're gonna keep this area in mind because it's acting as a 2.0, right? So this is acting as that one hour, uh, here, we'll go like this. This is acting as this one hour SND, right? And this is acting as a 15 minute SND 2.0. As simple as that, right? Uh, let me change this up. 15 minute SND 2.0. This is what I do every single day that I show up to trade, just so you guys know. So there we go. We can jump down to a five minute now and take a look at what's occurring. So on the five minute, you'll actually see something that we like, okay? So on the five minute with the current bullishness that we're expecting here due to that higher SSC, we've had a break to the top side. Here it is, showcased by this low to that high. Then we had another break showcased by this low to this high. Okay, so we've put in an institutional range as I teach privately that is shown by this. So there's there could be an expectation to do this, which is actually looking really good right now. And at the same time, we are creating the model we discussed in the last video, where price has started going bullish and has broken bearish for us to either begin the follow it bullish now or to re-wait for a break. So if we were to re-wait for a break, we would wait for the re-break of this high right here, or actually this high right here as per the indicator. So if this broke, we could then follow for longs, but also we know that since it's broken down, we can follow this for long. And since it's lining up with this 15 minute S&D 2.0, this is what context looks like, longs are actually favorable. So now basically all I'm gonna look for is if I get one of these green bad boys, somewhere in here on the way up, I'll look to take a long. It's as simple as that, nothing more. So we're gonna click next. Okay, great. Is there a green a green boy? There's not, nothing to do. Next, is there a green boy? No, nothing to do. So now again, there's no such thing as FOMO or being afraid of getting stopped out because we know, or a price running away from us because we know that we can wait for price to give us an entry in here, all over, or we can wait for price to break this and then we be can begin to follow that up because again, there's opportunities every single day, absolutely everywhere. There's no reason to be afraid of missing trades and all this fun stuff. But what's also interesting is that this 15 minute S&D 2.0 is now being complemented by this new five minute S&D 2.0, right? For an S&D that forms off an S&D counts as an S&D 2.0. So this is what is called a five minute S&D 2.0. And very simply, this is also an area that we can hopefully or potentially look to go long in.
right? These are great opportunities. So price can also tap back in and then start going long from there. That's, that's an opportunity that we might be able to see. So let's take a, let's keep going. Is that a green boy? No. Is that a green boy? So in this case, you're getting a green boy. But now the question is, is this green boy occurring in an area where you suspect it to potentially want to go long? We wanted to see a green boy occur somewhere in these SDs is number one. But at the same time, it's occurring inside of this one hour SD, which is pretty powerful. So we know we have multi time frame confluence. And at the same time, right, if you follow fractally, just the wicks alone, you have a structural break there. A structural break there and the expectancy is that on a lower time frame there's a structural break here that wants to occur so yeah you might see the longs here but for me personally right because of the fact that this green boy is not forming at or within these areas here i'm going to wait this is where i would step back i want to see price form one of these green boys in an area that i'm already suspecting or watching for longs otherwise um it's less likely right because you can take a lot of trades in this area now just following green boys so we're going to wait Okay, well, it's a good choice we chose to wait. We get another green boy, same exact um, same exact thing as last time. We're not going to trade it yet. We want to see price tap into here. So then price breaks this intermediary high. So now we're creating an SSC on the inside of price action. So what we can now look at is this S&D off the intermediary. So this is what is called a five-minute intermediary S&D. Simple as that. So now we can trade along from either one of these. But again, we need to see a green boy occur in one of these areas. This is the idea of SSC. We have an overall context now that we've created through the one hour SSC that is delivering. On top of that, we have a lower time frame that's begun to do the model that we're expecting. So we're looking to continue that long. And now we're getting areas from which we can expect long because they're stacking on top of each other for good trades so if we tap into any of these and create one of the green boys i'm fully happy to take risk on that trade that's what trading is just discretionarily deciding when it's worth to take risk on a simple um move or not right so again keeps going up nothing really for me to do here right we're just going to keep watching this so again still nothing and again i don't care if this price runs away from me because we're already expecting price to break this. And if it breaks this, then it's gonna create a new range that we can then trade. So again, this idea of FOMO is no longer affecting us. However, if we follow what's going on here, you have a one hour SND that price moved away from, tap back into on the five minute, making this guy right here, its own five minute SND 2.0. So this is also a five minute SND 2.0, okay? And at that point, we're also just now got a green boy. So in this case, I'll actually will look to take a long off of this guy right here because it makes sense for longs and it's within the overall expectancy of a long and it has enough free space on the top side to move to this guy and then onwards so very simply what we're going to be doing is we're going to take a long at the basically at the end of this candle so now we're in a long as is and what we're also going to do is we're going to account for some form of absorption so in this case we'll do it with a four pip stop loss right so very simple that way we can allow price to play around here for a little bit if it needs to otherwise we'll be happy to get involved again either here or here and very simply we'll have another rule where we will call three losses most that we will ever take in a given day so basically if we take a loss here and then another loss in here and another loss in here we walk away because when you're losing you're likely going to be continuously wrong and continue losing um, on a given day because you know contextually you might not have the correct market um, anticipation or prediction and that's fine it's, it's a question of what you do when you're losing. Um, and three losses on this system won't matter because we're going to be making a lot more money as we get moves that are good and, and powerful for us. And all we're doing today is without even taking partials, we're going to be trailing stop losses um, to make it extremely simple on us. And we're just going to trail them with big moves to the top side. That's all we're going to be doing. Just to showcase that again. So we're going to call this the SL line. Okay. So let's make this black bold SL. Um, we're going to put it on to the right and the middle. Uh, I'll put it on the center. There we go. So that's going to be RSL. So RSL is right here right now. And that's it. Okay. And now we're going to see if we can. So we're already tapped in. Now we're looking for price to expand. Nothing else for us to do. We're looking for a way to break even. The way we're going to look to break even is if we get a big move, just like that, basically. If we get a candle of that nature, we will move our stop loss. It's as simple as that. We're going to keep our system today very simple. Hopefully, this trade loses so we can continue showing you what happens when you lose so you can see that over time, losses don't matter because it's part of the system. Only uh, Losses are the only thing that are going to make you money long term. Remember that. Okay, so we're just looking for a big move. That's not a big move. That's not a big move. We're just looking for an expansion now. We don't care about what price does now. Okay, great. So we did get an expansion. However, 
the expansion in relation to this zone wasn't major and this expansion here didn't hold through so we're still going to maintain our trade without moving the stop loss yet and looking for basically one more expansion that ends somewhere around here to move our stop loss to break even because um, we want to give it the most possible chance to have money come in that wants to hold it up without having to come back for our, for our stop but right now we're still willing to take that risk let's see if we get an expansion no expansion plays around so again we're just waiting for this to expand before we do anything so that's a great expansion just like i want to see and here we will move our stop loss to break even it's as simple as that stop loss will be now moving to break even just like that and now we're looking for price to continue expanding right in this case because this is a large candle we can actually move our stop loss directly to under that candle locking in a little bit of profit and we can continue now all we're going to be doing now is as candles like that come in we're going to be moving our stop loss with them it's as simple as that and you can do this on any time frame let's see what we can do <laughs> Oh God, he's a scammer. He's a hindsight scammer. Well, I mean, for those of you that actually want to learn, you're, you're going to learn a fuck ton today. I mean, this is just beauty. I mean, it can still come back, but that's fine. And for those of you that think that, you know, I have this all pre-planned, well, that's how, that's how beautiful what we do is. Nonetheless, stop loss gets moved to the next low, just like that. And we're going to continue watching the take this. Now I'm going to move it a little bit below it, just like that, because um, that's how I usually manage my own positions. And we're going to keep waiting for the same thing. Same thing, moving to the low and continue waiting for the same thing. Okay, we're waiting for another big move before we move our stop loss. Still good. Looking good. <laughs> moving our stop loss again. Uh, I mean, this is just unfair. It feels so unfair that the first trade we take is like this. Uh, but nonetheless, like I said, you know, the expectancy is if it comes back, we're, we're free to take more trades. It's no problem. It's just that we are following price action and we're, we're taking that higher to the lower and we're looking for the same model every time and the reason the model works so well is because it's based it's based on the on the misunderstanding that most other people have and like the previous video and the video before that if you study and understand what other people do you understand how easy it is to make money on the correct side so we just move that again let's let it play out okay great so we get stopped out beautiful so we take a overall 2RR gain, 2% gain, 1.98% gain right there on that trade. Fantastic. Now we can continue going. For winning, there's no reason we need to stop. Now you can have rules to stop trading in a given day. That's perfectly fine. But right now, that's a 2% gain. Let's write that Let's write that down. Or actually, sorry, 2RR gain. We're just going to keep it simple. And we're going to continue, okay? So we're just going to move this to the left now. Just like that. And let's move on. And that stop loss has been taking us out right about there. Fantastic. Now let's move on. Let's ask ourselves if the model is still there. So again, we had the breaks up, the breakdown. We took longs from there. And it actually just had its first breakup and an another breakup. And you can see by the indicator, we're just breaking down again. So the same thing is true. We might get the same exact setup again right here. If we follow the unmitigated portions, you have an unmitigated portion right here. We just got tapped. So again, a red, I mean, a green boy is good to go long. This no longer matters. Um, this one may matter. We'll leave that one drawn out because that one's part of a 2.0, not part of a range. Um, this is no longer important. That's what we just traded. And you also have this guy right here. They're both valid. So we might be able to get two trades here if we lose the first one. So again, we have a five minute S&D right there. And we have a five minute S&D right here as part of that range. And we just broke this bear. So again, we have two opportunities. One, we can already start going bullish in here to continue making this move to clear the next high accordingly. Or we can wait for a rebreak and then look to follow it. Well, because we already we have context that's lining up bullishly, we are happy to take long. So again, if we get another green boy, we are more than happy to take that to continue long. Okay, see if we get that. So no green boy. No green boy. No green boy. Yep, no green boy. Yep, no green boy. Nothing to do, right? Now, again, we have an intermediary break right here. And the same thing as last time. We have the point from which that comes. So we have a five-minute intermediary, a five-minute intermediary. I mean, five-minute S&D, five-minute S&D. And then we have a five-minute intermediary S&D. Again, we're, we're building this out. Now, it doesn't mean we will take trades from all of them because again, we can get we can get smackdowns through them, but we're keeping track of what's going on and we're just following the same model over and over and over again, okay? Let's see if we can tap into one of those. So again, nothing for me to follow here, nothing for me to follow here. And again, do we care that price is going away without us? No, because again, we want this high to break because that'll put in motion once again, the same bullish model that we've been speaking about in the last few videos, right? Simple as that. So no break yet, so we're still good to go. We can still retain a push back into here and then continuations. Let's see if we get that. 
So we get a green boy here. Now, preference wise, you can trade this as you want, and this can now work out. But for, personally, I want to see it hit my zones because that's going to create bigger free money zones and smaller invalidation zones, right? Right now, if you took this, you could have multiple green boys like this one show up again and again and again and again and again. So I'm not taking this trade, and that's why I didn't even mention it. So we're going to keep looking for a trade. And that's why, I mean, there's a good opportunity. Like, And this is why I don't take that kind of thing because I've taken the time to learn my system, right? But again, we're looking for a green boy in one of these three right here. See if we can get that. Okay, taps in. No green boy. Simple as that. Waiting for a green boy now. Nothing. Nothing. Is that a green boy? Pretty sure that should be a green boy now. Oh, it makes equal lows. Okay, so no, so it doesn't become a green boy. It would become a green boy if this wick was just under it, but it wasn't. So it is what it is. We'll keep going. Okay. <laughs> Same thing. So still looking for a green boy. Nothing for me to touch. And there we go. And we get a green boy. So again, very simply, we're going to enter on the green boy. Um, we're going to ask ourselves what stop loss makes sense. So this is about 2.2 pips. This is about three pips right here. And what we can do is we can account for a little bit of absorption, which would mean like coming just deeper into the zone. So 3.5 or even four pips would make a lot of sense. Um, in this case, I think 3.5 makes a lot of sense. Four is a little bit overextended. So we'll go with 3.5 and we'll look to take that long just like that so same rules so now again our stop loss is here and we're going to look for a move up to move this to break even let's see if we can get that nothing i mean it's moving up but not big enough we're looking for a bigger move something like up in the here or a big move like that that comes up in the here so nothing for us to move yet fantastic and we get stopped out so we take our little minus one right here let's draw that accordingly Beautiful. You can see still that we're up on the day by over 1%, and we're going to continue. So that's one loss. We're allowing ourselves two more losses. So if we take two more losses, we can leave the day alone. But right now, everything is still valid. We're still looking for those longs. If we get another green boy right now, you know sure as hell that I'm going to be looking to take a long off of it, right? This is how I show up every day to do the same thing with no issue. So just looking for a green boy now. No green boy. Okay, so we get a green boy, and that's coming from the S&D we suspect the price may stop at. So again, all we're doing is we're taking a long off that green boy, taking a look. You know, three pips is 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 covering 50% of the zone or so, um, and this this low can easily get, get tapped into. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that 3.5 again, take a look at that, and then take a look at what four is. So four just covers under the zone. Makes a lot of sense for me. Happy to take this as my trade, and happy to put risk on this specific trade. Let's see what we can do. So just looking for a big move first. So it's an okay move. If it finished up here, I would have moved the stop loss to break even. But right now, there's no reason for me to do that. So I'm going to wait for a big move that continues coming deeper. Let's see if we can get that. So that's a pretty nice move, big move away from the price. So theoretically at this point, if big money bought into that move, um, it should stay above that point. So we can move our stop loss just over and into break even, just under that low. And accordingly, we again can manage this. Can't manage yet. Nothing to do. Nice move up. We'll move. Actually, not yet. We'll wait for another. Okay, beautiful. We'll move that accordingly. So in this case, you could move the here. But for me, right, because this failed down a little bit, I could see it coming deeper and then going. So we're going to move to this low, seeing as this is the up move that basically sustained itself. So we're going to move it just under here. So again, giving up potential RR if it comes back now, but adding on RR if it wants to grab the low and then keep going. That's why we do things like this. And again, that's going to be a lot more experience based. Um, so in this case, it didn't matter or maybe it will. Let's see. So it keeps going again. Same thing. Um, this overall push. Yes, you could move it here, but I'm going to move it under this guy right here just because that is the move that's creating this larger move here. And I'm willing to, to let go of this RR from here to here in the anticipation that we might get a continuation like that. Very simple. Let's see if we can get that. So hopefully, yeah, exactly. And now hopefully it blows up to the top side. Okay. doesn't happen. So we get stopped out at the SL there. Simple as that. Another 1.2 RR gain. Let's move this over to the right. There we go. So now you can see we're up about 2 RR on the day. So you'd be up about 2% on any given account. And again, it, it, that's a lot of percent to be up. You, a lot of people need to realize that. And again, we're still good to trade. Nothing has changed. Um, taking a look at this, we are still in the same model. This is still the high we want to see taken out. We are still moving. But now what we can do is we can follow the 2.0s that are being developed, right? We had this 2.0 right here that's been created off of this five minute SND. And if we keep, I mean, there's also this guy right here that's actually coming. So intermediary wise, you also have this break here, this break here. Um, so, you know, this point or this point right here, because if you follow the mitigations, this is the last unmitigated point as well, are showing great bullishness. Now, this is the five minute S&D. 
and this is oh it also it actually counts as a 2.0 because we followed the mitigation but this also counts as a five minute smd 2.0 so in this case you know personally um i'm not going to go after this one because it's too small even if we get a green boy right now in it right let's say we got a green boy you know the 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 only big push that it can make is through this high right of that range and then it could instantly snap back and come here so in this case what i'll do is i'll ignore this one right i'll, I'll keep it on here but i'm going to ignore it overall and allow price to play around first before making a move okay so in this case that green boy actually would have been a beautiful one but again you cannot be in every single move and you need to be able to follow your own rules but again we don't care because we know all we're waiting for is a break of this and that actually validates our model that we can then continue following it's as simple as that so we wait now that's all we do so this is actually creating another five minute snd 2.0 right here so right now due to the fact that we have space and this next high of this SSC is lining up with this high that we want to see validated. If we get a green boy right now, I'm willing to take a trade on it. Simple as that. See if we get a green boy. Okay, so we do get a green boy. We'll enter on the green boy. Simply want to protect it. That's about 2.6 pips. Um, given that this is creating a SD 2.0, basically chain of 2.0s, we'll go ahead and account for some absorption with a 3.5 pip stop loss, just like that. And look to take that long. Let's see if we can get broken even on this trade. Um, and look to take it higher. See what we can do here. Okay, it makes a beautiful move. Does it sustain it? Nope, so we're not moving the break even yet. Not moving yet, looking for a big move. Not yet, if it if it finished up here, I would have moved to break even, but nothing yet for us. Making, I mean, it's, it's coming up, but all together these make a pretty good move. So SL will go to break even now and go just under this candle's low and hopefully we get an explosion to the top side now. Okay, beautiful explosion up. SL can go below that low and onwards. And we'll keep following that now. Good explosion. Yep, we can move it right below that low. Happy to lock that in. <laughs> All right, good explosion up. We'll move that SL accordingly. And we're out. Beautiful. 2.06 RR gain. And at that point, what we've also done, so we'll do a few more of these and then I'm going to stop this video because this is more so this is more stuff that I do for the private mentorship. I do stuff like this all the time, every single day. So if you want more of this kind of stuff, if you really enjoy this, well, one, like and subscribe, and maybe I'll put it out publicly. Um, but two, join up with the private because we have so many videos jam-packed like this, um, but we actually do it live and we do it even before price even delivers. So yeah, but we do get this break, which means that now, remember, what model are we actually trading? We're trading the model that begins bullish, breaks bearish, and then can either be bullish here, which is where we just took all of these trades, or we can wait for the break up and then follow the new SSCs, which is what just happened right here. And you can see again, the low is drawn by the overall indicator. This is the high. So very simply, if we follow this and find the, move this to the right here, and we find the SND that created that, you have this one right here that created that. So this is just a five minute SND of a valid range. And if we followed it along, 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 this is also an area from which it came, right? So this is also a five minute SND. Um, just because if, because theoretically this SD was created by this whole candle and that candle was actually mitigated by all these candles. So this becomes an unmitigated portion too. So a green boy from here or here is perfectly fine given that we still have space to move to the top side and we'll look for a green boy now. Simple as that. Okay, we get another green boy. We'll take a long off that green boy as is. Stop will go just below. We'll go with a 3.5 again to cover a little bit of that zone, just assuming that, you know, maybe price wants to play around there a little bit. Do we get a big up move first? No, we don't. Let's move our SL to where it is. Looking for a break even reason, right? That's all we're doing. So no, no reason to move yet. No reason to move. Okay, well, that was close. We get a nice move. Um, but it's still very close to entry. We're going to give it another chance to make a move before we move to break even. We're still fine with taking on this risk because we're happy with the move. Okay, beautiful. So we take the loss here and that's fantastic. And that's two losses for the day. And we instantly get another green boy off of this zone. So in this case, I have no problem with taking another long off this as is. Stop will go just at 3.5 pips again, just covering a little bit of that low and looking to take that long once again. And if we lose this, it'll be done for the day. It's as simple as that. Okay, we get a clear big up move. If we get another one like that, we'll move to break even. Let's see if we can get that. Nope. Not, a, not enough of a big up move. Just need one more like that and we're good to go. Nope. Nope. Still no. Okay, and that'll do it. So now we can move to break even, right? 
because we've had it we've had we've played in this area too long we're not going to move it below there yet um but we can move this to break even at least just like that and we can see what we can get okay so we get stopped at break even which means that we're actually still valid for longs uh, but given that we've played in this area a little too much okay so this is just a break even but given that we played in this area too much i don't want to be getting involved in areas where dumb money is going to be fighting for price i want to get involved where you know these green boys are being bought up instantly and price is just fucking taking off so in this case i will ignore until we get here or we start building up something new it's as simple as that okay we're coming down into the area we suspected hopefully we can get a green boy from here so you can see we got a green boy but we haven't tapped into the area we suspected to get tapped into so we're still waiting okay we've tapped in and we've created a green boy fantastic we'll take a long on this in this case four pips covers just under the low so we'll go with 4.5 and it's perfectly fine trade and i'm happy to take that long more than enough space to move long and looking good if this is a loss once again it's as simple as walking away for the day so we'll move this sl below here that's where it is and let's see what we can get move up one more of those and we can move our stop loss looking good we'll move that to break even looking for continuations now all right we get stopped at break even perfectly fine so we'll get stopped at break even this is why management guys is so vital to your systems or minor profit but we'll just call it break even but we're also now creating five minute snd 2.0s off of this point here and honestly off of this right here this whole thing is a five minute snd 2.0 so very simply if we get a green boy off this we're willing to take another trade up because clearly it's showing that money's coming into the top side so we're okay with taking a trade and we know that we want to see this high now continue through because the model is being met for longs right so we're just going to keep following this let's see what happens let's see if we can get a green boy out of this guy okay nice little tap in looking for a for a green boy out of this now nothing yet for us good so we get a green boy so we're going to take an entry off of the green boy simple as that stop will go below it that's about 2.0 pips we'll cover about 2.5 simple as that and we'll have to take it long once again stop loss below now again if this gets hit that's three losses for the day and we walk away it's as simple as that because again once you've taken three losses the context may be wrong maybe you're not in it anymore um, and it's a good way to manage yourself your own emotions and all the fun stuff that comes with it okay beautiful so we take the loss on that and that's it despite the fact that this might be an accumulation it might hit us for another green boy it might start going long and it might deliver here even because it might who knows it's likely to deliver there it doesn't matter because we've taken our three losses there's no reason to continue we can now show up and do this another day then another day then another day and we can consistently over time grow our equity curves whereas other people are not going to be able to do this on days where they start to fail when on days that people you know maybe they're doing very well for themselves they're doing very well on days that they start to fail what will happen to their curves is a little something like this and i've seen this happen so many times and it's because you're going to start making dumb emotional decisions you're going to start getting in over and over and over again on the expectation that oh my god it's an absorption oh my god it's a fake out but now i can get in now i can get in now i can get in. there's no way it goes lower we can do it we can do it. we can do it. and you're going to get stopped out so we're going to stop here and then we could come down come back the next day um now if this was the private mentorship i'd go ahead and continue this video and make it out to be about an hour or two hours as i normally do but right now this is a public demonstration of the thing that i made available to you guys in the last video and just showcasing what it looks like to trade the markets and very simply just from what we've seen here without even a big runner so we didn't even get to catch a runner that you know really gapped and started going and going and going because that's going to happen and when that happens your equity curve is just going to go to all-time new highs most of the time that you spend trading it's just going to be kind of this back and forth of a management game and then eventually you're going to hit the trades that are going to be the home runners right but even then i believe our overall our overall system of testing today was actually profitable despite the fact that we took three losses let's take a look so we had a 1.98 rr gain 1.98 rr gain then we had a 1.2 oh no then we had a minus one right there minus one then we had a 1.2 rr gain right there plus 1.2 then we had a 2.06 rr gain right there <laughs> then we had a minus one right there then we had two break evens right then we had another minus one to end out the day and in this case on this specific day or on the specific price action we've secured 2.24 rr on the account or 2.24 percent or based on how much you risk um you know it's up to you so let's say for instance you had a two million dollar men funding account where your risk is likely not 1% per RR because again, we have a pretty low um, drawdown. So you'd probably be risking maybe 
5% or 0.2%, okay? So let's assume a risk of 0.5% with a 2.24 RR gain, okay? So very simply, with a 2 million men funding account, which is available on medfund.com or smaller account based on what kind of model fits you, at a risk of 0.5% per, um, there we go, of, of per trade, which is around $10,000 on this specific day over the course of, let's see how long this was. I mean, actually a few hours. Yeah. So over the course of around 10 hours, if you traded those 10 hours fully, which you probably wouldn't have, but if you did over the course of those 10 hours, you've made 2.24 RR on your account, which would be equivalent at a 0.5% risk to around $22,400. Now, I don't know about you, but if you can take a skill and learn that skill um, in an industry that can provide you close to unlimited upside potential if you continue scaling. Um, and then on, let's say a 2 million men funding dollar on a men funding account where you're risking 0.5%, you can secure 22K for 10 hours of work. I'm sure a lot of you would be very happy with yourselves. Um, now, again, this is not about the, the money side or trying to boast about the money side and don't think that because most people actually will never get there and most people actually fail as you all know, because the, 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 the entire space is riddled with people that want the money, they want it quick, they need the shortcut, they need the money to feed their family or whatever other reason. And that's not a bad reason to have, but if you're not learning the actual skill and you think you're gonna be making money, you're out of your freaking mind. So nonetheless, this is just a demonstration of what I do every single day when I show up, about some of the management that I use, about some of the ways in which that I will look to take trades in the way that I will focus on an SSC of a higher time frame if it makes sense and then contextually follow it on a lower time frame. This is what real trading looks like. Real trading is not trends that develop like this, break down nicely, chalky flippy, get an easy trade here, break up again, chalky flippy, easy trades like this. This is not what markets move like, nor have they ever moved like that. There's a lot of dumb money that thinks that, you know, price moves in a very, very easy fashion where you can just keep on taking every single trade. This is complete nonsense. On any given time frame, the trend development of that trend is actually more akin to what we call Elliott Wave Structure, which is something that, you know, I learned a long time ago through a good friend of mine. And it was actually the starting point of me getting very deep into this kind of teaching where, you know, the models we built out for our students in the mentorship as well as here publicly are the models that are akin or similar to that of Elliot, where we want to see these things because we know those are part of continuations. And that's exactly what today you saw me trade. And that's exactly what I showcase as being the model for entry or the overall model for good continuations and good movements in the market um, as showcased in the last video. So I hope this video helps you guys out. I hope you know, again, notice that I'm not selling you anything. I mean, I'm selling you my, my mentorship. You should definitely join. It's one of the best places you're ever going to be. But everything that you see me using here is stuff that you have access to. This indicator right here with the highs and lows, it's available in TradingView under MetaFX structure. The specific red and green boys that we that we traded today is available as well in indicators under MetaFX Triple M. Utilize it. Okay. Take you the time to learn experience. Again, this is all perspective based and, and simulate environment only. Of course, as you can see it's it's replay mode, but we did a completely random pair at a random time at, you know, with no, with everything being random, we looked at a few time frames that didn't make much sense. And then there was one that made sense for the five minute entry time frame that we're gonna execute on. Now, if you are someone that's trading a one hour time frame or a two hour or four hour as your lowest, then of course, this is a market you'd probably not trade because the higher time frame wasn't in a valid uh, movement or wasn't creating a valid move that was clear to you, right? Let's keep playing this. So let's see what happens to the, for the rest of this. So you can see that, you know, if you kept trading this, you, you get your beautiful moves. You get inside breaks here that you keep trading, but that's fine. Part of the market is that every day that you show up, there's gonna be opportunities. But your job is to take advantage of the opportunities when they do show up and make money on them and to walk away when the opportunities you're taking advantage of are not playing in your favor. That is why I have the rule where if I take three losses in a day, usually I will walk away because I understand that even though I might be right, even though I might be on the ball, even though I could make millions if I just stayed on and just kept following, I'm aware that most days where that occurs, you're likely on the wrong side of context. And if that's the case, you could be taking endless amounts of trades and losses in one area for no reason. And that could be enough to blow your account, not blow your account, but to really substantially hurt your overall account. There's no reason to do that. Show up every day with a, with a, with a mind about what you want to expect and what you're looking for, and then follow if the model is being met. And if it's being met, then follow it. And if it's not, then don't. And have a simple rule for management manage your trades accordingly, right? Based on how you manage some of these trades, right? If you didn't move your SL as, as quickly as I normally did, just one of these could have paid for every single loss because you could have held this out basically to new, to the actual targets that you expect this to go to, 
which would be here. And you know, that's how you get those one to 40s and whatnot. Um, but again, not, not most people are not doing that. And most trades will not end up doing that because again, a much higher RR system is gonna mean lower win rate, of course. But the point being, there's endless numbers of ways to manage even trades that I showcased today. And if all you did is you just traded these systems um, and had different management rules, you might have done better on these trades and you and and again it's going to be unique to the person which is why i've always loved teaching because again what we do is unique to each trader and if you take the time to learn how you're going to trade well your unique your unique skill is going to live with you forever and you're going to know exactly what you need to do um, which is why this sunday on 4-9 so april 9th so whatever webinar if you do join up whatever webinar is available on that day I will be actually doing a reaction to one of our members um, who is funded trading a, with, with a very, very large account. I'm not even going to say what he's trading with because, again, I want, for the for the sake of private, if he wants to disclose that, he can. I will be reacting to one of his videos where he broke down exactly what he does. And I believe his entire system is very similar, if not exactly similar to this right here, but he just does this on a lower time frame. That's all he does because, you know, he has a he can just execute on a lower time frame. So look forward to that. Definitely check out the webinar released on 4-9. It's going to be a, a banger. Um, and again, it's going to be about two hours of this kind of system, but broken down with even more depth, which is exactly what you get through the beautiful private. Nonetheless, I hope this little back test um, made sense to you and helped you out. It's exactly in line with what I taught in the last few videos. And keep growing, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.